Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and to a brand new FIFA 22 video. This is Leo here bringing you another special player review and today we're going to be looking at another icon center back here at Elite Foot FC and it is the turn of the Berlin Wall, Fabio Cannavaro. Guys, yes, the Italian legend has himself an incredible baby card and we are reviewing him because last year I did review his baby card it was phenomenal and I, that video really uh, helped a lot of people out when deciding to what center back icon to get and that's why I'm bringing Fabio Cannavaro back his baby is here and he is currently going for 550 to 560k I got him for 551 and I think that is a steal considering the card you are getting his 5'9 medium high right for the two star skill moves three star weak foot i remember um what's it called last year he was going for around like 700k i believe so it is crazy to see the price drop this year with a lot of cars not just on this canavado but let's look at the in-game stats and they look fantastic this is going to be a boister review so i'm just going to go over the little positives the standouts real quick and then more in detail during the gameplay portion of this review obviously guys you get canavado for the pace especially uh, i know this one's more expensive than the mid and that's because because of the 82 pace, 83 acceleration, 82 sprint speed. Hopefully we do get to feel that in a game. Another big thing that I do like about it is the agility, guys. The agility and balance, phenomenal. The reactions as well. That is a key stat in a defender. So, GG there. The 78 composure. Hopefully that is not a problem. Last year it wasn't, but this year, who knows, that might be. And obviously the big standout is that 90 defending phenomenal guys and i went ahead and applied a shadow chemistry style on this card which i think it's the way to go actually i have an anchor on i'm now looking at the screen guys I, I went with an anchor this review and i think that the reason i did that was because of the strength and aggression the aggression isn't 77 and the strength is at 83 so it is, you always want to increase it a little bit more have them be feel more of like a physical presence because kind of out of you with kind of out of you get the pace and with the anchor definitely it increases that physicality and presence on him but guys let's go on to the player traits he does have one player trait and that is a solid player and that is about it from the player traits and then here you go for the icon profile guys if you do want to see it you can pause the video and you can read his story look at this club career the national career as well but anyway guys i am so excited to try out the berlin wall fabio canabato is he worth it is he not is he worth half a million coins that is going to be the big question we're going to be answering next so like i said this is going to be a voice over review guys get ready to see standing tackles interceptions uh sliding tackles him dribbling the ball and him making the phenomenal pass as well because uh this Fabio Cannavaro is a complete package i was already already knew what to expect with this Cannavaro card because he is a very similar card to the cordoba when when i reviewed cordoba guys he was insane out of this world and that's why i wanted to review Cannavaro, guys the smaller center backs are back here on fifa 22 i know it's the 5.9 height might scare you off a little bit but honestly, if you pair him up next to a, a taller center back, you are good to go, guys. Do not worry. And also, he does have the 95 jumping as well. Same with Canavaro. Well, not with Canavaro. With Cordoba, I believe he has high jumping as well. And he actually did win a couple of hitters. You're going to see in the highlights. Uh, he definitely won like two or three corners. So that is a really good sight to see, especially on the defense. Whenever you have a taller like Kane or somebody else trying to win a header, Canavaro will definitely uh, challenge that. But let's break it down into sections. First, the 82 pace, guys. The 82 sprint speed and 83 acceleration felt phenomenal. I did apply an anchor chemistry style, so that increased it plus five. So the pace went up to 87, and he's definitely super fast, man. He. You're going to see a lot of recoveries with this card. I made a bad standing tackle. He'll go recover it and catch up to the opponent beautifully. So the 87 pace is phenomenal. On to the passing, guys. I had no issues with the passing, even though it is super low with the 46 vision, 68 short passing, and 63 long passing. I didn't have an issue, but maybe under pressure, he might complete a bad pass or so. So just be aware of your surroundings and what foot you're passing it with. On to the dribbling, guys. The agility and balance, phenomenal. 
side to side movement is one of the best uh, when it comes to a center back that I have reviewed this year. So that is really good. The composure of 78, no problem there as well. I thought that might have been an issue, but uh, honestly, he was making the same amount of tackles, even whether it was the beginning of the game or the 90th minute of the game. So do not be scared of that 78 composure. And now on to the defending of 90, guys. With an anchor chemistry style, it goes up to 97 defending, basically a complete wall and this guy is definitely an end game card if you do pack them or you want to go buy them definitely i do suggest uh picking up this card the interceptions phenomenal standing tackles as well you press circle he'll get it back and if you're in the vicinity guys thanks to that high reactions of his he will make a play on ball even if you don't press a defensive button so that is a really good and you don't have to worry about anything else the sliding tackle i really didn't get to test it i think i got a yellow card on a sliding tackle but that was just me being dumb and on to the physicality guys the strength and aggression were not an issue but i can see why uh the aggression might uh turn off a couple of people because it is pretty low and just with the anchor chemistry style it just goes up to 82 and that might be a little bit of an issue for you but aside from that the strength i have no issues with guys he bodies out like if he was 6'3 guys that is how good kind of out of ways when it comes to the strength department he will body those stronger physical uh, attackers and now with fifa 22 strength is a big big deal in uh gameplay so to ever for for you to have a 93 strength center back is just gonna help you out tremendously in the long run but aside from that guys that will conclude the gameplay portion of the review hopefully you enjoyed seeing canavaro in action i played three games with him and i think i got a lot of highlights to show you how good this canavaro card is so let's go on to the final thoughts on this incredible center back berlin wall that concludes this 87 Fabio Cannavaro player review, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it, man. I think I got a lot of highlights in to, to show you how good this baby Cannavaro card is. And honestly, I would pick up this card over the mid. I know that is ridiculous to say, but uh, I think it's worth paying the extra coinage and uh, maybe having a little bit less defense, a little bit less physical, and having that 82 pace, man, because that helps him out tremendously. He is a very hard player to get passed by, so if you're looking for a shutdown defender, Canavaro might be your answer. You see the pros on the screen. I already went over it in detail during the gameplay portion of the review, but the stands was the pace, the defending, the reactions, the agility, fantastic. The cons, guys, like I said, be careful with the passing. The aggression might leave you a little bit more to desire, but aside from that, I really really enjoyed this berlin wall episode the leo tips i would pick up like i said i would pick this card over the mid any day of the week meta rating 8.5 out of 10 final rating 8.5 out of 10 almost a 10 out of 10 defender and probably his prime or moments definitely will take the 10 out of 10 spot so i have to leave some room for error but anyways i will conclude today's review hopefully helped you out in deciding whether you want to get this card or not and you enjoyed this review before i let you guys want to say thank you so much for your support on instagram and youtube lately i have been killing it with the support and i love seeing that guys so please take a second out of your day like this video subscribe to the channel and expect more icon reviews more player reviews here at elite foot fc and yeah guys goodbye